Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing for you my monthly scentbird pick. I believe I got this in January and it's from Joya and it's Foxglove. So if you'd like to know what I think, then keep watching. I always like to give you guys disclaimers. I am not in any way affiliated with Scentbird except for a referral code I have below that if you wanted to sign up, you get a free month, I get a free month. Other than that, this is in no way an affiliate video. You don't have to use my code, you completely ignore it. But I pay for my Scentbird um, every month with my own money. So this isn't like they're working with me to review fragrances, this is just one place I get fragrances, because it's Scentbird, I like to let you know it is Scentbird, but it is not an affiliated, um, reviewed, um, sponsored post. So that being said, feel free to use my code or ignore it. There's also a variety of other YouTubers out there that have Scentbird codes. If you would prefer to support somebody else, go for it. Doesn't matter to me. I will still pay for this doesn't matter. But I did want to talk to you guys specifically about this fragrance. This is a house I've been really into. Firstly, the presentation is absolutely stunning. Specifically for this bottle, I love it. It looks like it's a ceramic jar and it's got this really beautiful green color and it has a wand that is dipped in 24 karat gold and that's how you apply the perfume. Really, really stunning fragrance. Um, for 75 ml, you're looking at spending $135. So for that beautiful presentation and for the fact that this is a niche house that is a little bit on the higher end, you have a really a fantastic price point. I will say one thing, this is a perfume oil, so I'm going to be reviewing this um, against other perfume oils. So if you hear me talk about longevity or projection, it is a fragrance oil, and so that's how I'm going to be reviewing it. So this is, this is it right here. I put a little bit on my skin just to kind of remind myself of the feeling of this fragrance. But this is described as a unisex fragrance, but it does lean way feminine. It is very sweet and white florals um, with a sweetness tend to feel like more like a women's fragrance. But there are some notes in this that I think ground it and make it really suitable for men if men prefer, uh, if you're looking for a nice floral scent to wear, if you're a guy, this is, might be a great fragrance. Now I'm going to butcher some of these notes. I cannot say some of these words. I'm very sorry, I am working on it. I know it is unprofessional and I'm very sorry. So the notes in this are Hyacinth, I think that's the one I had a problem with, jasmine, white cedar extract, blood orange, narcissus, camellia, oak, white musk, and green grass. Now, if you guys are familiar with indolic fragrances, specifically with white florals, they're like an over what ripe, very sweet, ripe floral fragrance. This isn't so much of an indolic fragrance, or it doesn't really feel very indolic, but the grass and the jasmine come together to make it have kind of like that overripe feeling sometimes. Now the green grass is less grassy and more vegetal, and I actually really like it mixed with the oak and the blood orange. It gives it a little bit of brightness and greenness, which is what I think makes this less of a female fragrance. It kind of makes it a little bit more unisex or on the unisex side. But generally overall, to me, this is a predominantly jasmine fragrance. So at least on my skin, I might get a little bit of the musk, a little bit more of the blood orange, but it really on my skin is a predominantly jasmine fragrance with a lot of other things going on um, underneath it to give it a little bit of depth and make it really unique and different. Now it is a perfume oil and this is an atomizer and I actually prefer to unscrew this and use this little thing here to put it on like that. This is one of the only times I prefer not to have an atomizer. I prefer to kind of slather on making sure my thing didn't fall, slather on my perfume oil like I am a piece of toast rather than spray it on. So that is how I apply it. That is just my choice. You can choose however you want to do it. But because the bottle comes with a dabber and a wand, that is the way I wanted to apply it when I sampled this to review. Now I would say this fragrance is more appropriate for evenings, even though I do think this would be a really lovely scent to wear um, during the day. You can pretty much make this a very casual scent. I think it would be very chic, or you can wear it in the evening I think would be very appropriate for formal occasions. I think because it is a jasmine scent, a lot of people will really understand it, but there are some surprising notes and feelings that this fragrance has that makes it a little bit more mysterious and different, which I think would make for an amazing scent to wear to an event where you wanted to really make an impression, except for the fact that it doesn't project. That's the only problem I have. 
but I do think it is really beautiful and worth checking out and it was something I will definitely purchase in the future just even just for the bottle itself it's worth it but the juice inside is really really gorgeous so if this is something you've wanted to check out I would definitely recommend it but I would probably sample it first because even though I think that jasmine is one of those really easy to understand fragrances a lot of people know what it smells like a lot of people don't have issues with it I think that the fact that this is a little bit vegetal and it's a little bit on the moist side I know people hate that word and there aren't things in this that make it smell a little bit indolic not everybody likes those types of fragrances so I would definitely sample first but that is my thoughts on my scentbird pick for January. I am quite pleased with it. And I hope you guys like this review. If you guys like reviews like this, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free and I'm free. And I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. In any case, I hope you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day, month, year, whatever. And I will see you next time. Bye.